All right, music fans, welcome back. I am the Harmless One here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. Sammy Hagar says Catalina Island pay-per-view concert was cool but not financially successful. Now, there are narratives and I tend to be very skeptical. Uh, they put this out there and... At least they let Sammy be honest, which is good. Uh, Sammy tends to complain. He wants to get out there and perform. Uh, he is supposedly in a vulnerable age category for getting out there and playing and performing live. In a new interview with Radio.com, Sammy Hagar spoke about the possibility of playing more live shows during the uh, pandemic. The never-ending uh, pandemic, although there has been a bit of a different mood since right around maybe January 20th. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a little change in the air. Um, <laughs> certain television stations are no longer um, tallying up uh, the numbers like they were before, although some still are. So I think it depends on what state you live in and how many restrictions you have. If you don't have a lot of restrictions in your state, you're going to see those tickers and those numbers all over your newscast. Um, anyway, I'm trying to stay away from those uh, touchy topics that I uh, was getting riled up about toward the end of last year. Hagar and the rest of the Circle Band performed last October at uh, Sam's annual birthday bash, which was moved to Catalina Island. The audience watched the concert via a boat in. That's right, a boat in. A limited amount of socially... <laughs> I'm sorry. Socially distanced chartered boats. Were the boats wearing uh, protective gear? PPE on the front of the boat, maybe? Huh? I mean, boats have to breathe too, right? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hagar said, our booking agency is trying to find ways to do more shows. Uh, the drive-in movie theater thing, that didn't appeal to me. I just couldn't do it. My fans are crazy. So we did the Catalina Island thing where we said, well, let's have a boat in and see how that works. And that was cool, but it was so expensive i mean you want to talk about paying to play it's like man we had to build a stage we had to bring production everything we had to stay there a week and then build everything out and we did a pay-per-view and it was successful but it was not financially successful so basically to try to pay back all of the stuff they had to do for a week too much prep he goes on, but that wasn't the idea. The idea was to finish up my birthday bash and get her done. Uh, getting creative with it. I don't like creative uh, with trying to do a concert. He explained he just wants to go out and play. Uh, he says, I'm sorry, I don't want to do them from my home. So he's getting a little tired of the, uh, the lockdown premise, even though uh, the circle did a few of those. He said it was great. Uh, it was fun, but I have my fun by walking out on stage for two hours and playing the music and entertaining and talking to the folks and getting the feedback. Uh, there's nothing that will ever replace that. Hmm. Uh, and I need, sounds like socialization, like kids, they need to be socialized. They need to see other kids and so forth. Um, he says, I want it, my fans need it, and they want it, and we've got to have it. So we've got to get it back. Those are fighting words. Sammy's going to get in more trouble. I did that video about how Sam's going to get in trouble. I mean, he faced a huge backlash for talking this way. He goes on, I don't want to play to half a house because I've been offered things like, okay, you can play in some states, but if it holds 10,000 people, you can only play for five, he added. I don't care about playing for five. I'd play for five. Hundred. He's talking about 5,000 here. He says, I don't mind that at all. 
I just know that those 5,000 people are not going to stay in their seats and socially distance. The second we start getting it on and I start saying, are we having any fun yet? Holding up the mic. Uh, right now, they're going to be at the front of the stage all unsocially distanced. And it's going to get criticized or I'm going to get sued or fined or something. Probably by a promoter, right? Because the promoter is going to say, yeah, we'll host the event, uh, but you have to behave and your audience has to behave. Anyway, they released a uh, Lockdown 2020 album back on January 8th. It's pretty good. It's decent, but uh, it pales in comparison to, you know, the full in-studio treatment, although it sounds pretty close. It sounds pretty similar. In any event, uh, Sam doesn't want to get sued for breaking the rules, uh, and uh, I'm sure other musicians are thinking about how to color within the lines and obey all the rules, and that's been the issue for almost a year now, obeying the rules, and people are, some people are getting really tired of it. Some other people seem to think this is cool, and it's the new normal, and we should just all fall in line. And um, I'm going to stop myself from doing any further commentary on that. In any event, thanks for watching the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to it. You can hit the bell for notifications and check me out over on Patreon. Got some musical perks over there for folks who join Patreon and need some music from past decades to listen to. In any event, I'm done. I'll see you soon.